but just like to say happy Easter guys hope you have a good day enjoy it with your family and things like that and if you don't celebrate well <laughs> but yeah um, so I'm gonna film this before Easter but hopefully it should be uploaded by Easter Sunday um, today or on Easter Sunday I'm going to uh, Disney on Ice as well with my boyfriend, which will be fun. I'm so excited for that. Not long left at all. How long have we got? Uh, da -da -da. 18 days! Yay! So, um, and I'm super early in advance for this, but um, Alfie's just gone to bed and we're planning an Easter egg hunt for him. So now he's gone to bed, I'm going to fill some of the eggs up with surprises. Um, so yeah, by the time this goes up, it will be Easter Sunday, and then a Disney, uh, Disneyland, I wish. <laughs> 18 days to Disneyland, I wish. Um, by the time this goes up, you'll have another Disney on Ice video to look forward to, so that's great. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get on with the uh, egg hunt These stuff. are Alfie's Easter egg hunt goodies. I'm not sure about the Lego, that might be a birthday present. But yeah, some of the goodies that we got today. First of all, how cute is this little Easter chick? from Sainsbury's. He was £7. So, so cute. And then even the little legs inside have got chicks on them. chocolates and stuff that we've got have been hidden away in the cupboard in this uh, stylishly uh, poundland bag of jasmine and raja. But this one's just full of treats and then they've still got a few like toys and everything. You should see my desk right now. It's Easter egg central around here. But yeah, like, ooh. That gets my job to sit and stuff Easter eggs. That's okay, I love it, honestly. So, um, some of the things my mum's bought to put in them are these, like, Thomas mini trains. Um, she doesn't want him getting all chocolate, which is understandable, you know, he's gonna get a lot. Um, yeah, these... Screw them up. will fit nicely into an Easter egg. Nice little surprise. He's obsessed with like surprise eggs at the moment because mm. he watches things on YouTube um, of YouTubers like opening surprise eggs, like Kinder eggs and things like that. He is obsessed with them. So yeah, I think he's really, really gonna like this Easter egg hunt. So, managed to fill 13 eggs and then we've bought some actual ready-made surprise eggs as well because yeah, he loves them. Like, I think they're Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig surprise eggs that already come pre-made and just bought a bunch of those because they were 50p in B&M they're like a pound in Asda, it's ridiculous so at 50 pence each just bought a full box, but yeah I think that should be enough for the Easter egg hunt now another thing I bought from Tesco's was these two money wallets um, they're specifically for Easter this one says exciting gift for you which is the Avengers and some Easter eggs um, I got this for my boyfriend, um, by the time this uploads he'd have already got it, fingers crossed, so not so much spoilers, but um, I just thought it'd be nice because we're going on a holiday together just to put like 10 euros in it or something, it's a start, but yeah, not long left to holiday. I think now it's like 99 days or 100 days, countdown, 16 days to Disney on Ice, yay! That means I've got 16 days to find euros to put in this. <laughs> 100, 100 days, 0 hours and 0 minutes. Oh, uh, so yeah, it might just go down to 99 days now. Um, and i got the princess one. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to send myself an Easter card with some money in it. Um, I just thought it was really cute. Um, I might just keep it. Because I'm a hoarder and I have issues. <laughs> um... Yeah, it says Easter is the time of year when all of your dreams come true. And it's got Cinderella, her mice, and Belle with a basket of roses. I love, absolutely love princesses, and Belle's my favourite, and she's on it, so for a pound I definitely had to get it. Again, not sure what I'm going to do with it, but there you go. Right, 
I thought I'd sit down and film these little bits now because Alfie's just gone to playgroup. Um, I also I need to. Feel, I feel I need to explain some things. Um, no one's mentioned anything, but you're probably all thinking it. I mentioned Alfie a lot. Alfie's my little brother. He's not. He's not my son. Um, everybody at work thought that when I first started too. Quite a lot of people do mistake him for my son, but he's not my son. He's just my little brother. Um, <laughs> so I can't do a lot when he's around because obviously he wants to be involved. And it's like, no, Alfie, no. <laughs> you probably hear him on the end of some clips, and that's me quickly cutting off time to go because I cannot film when he's around. Um, so yeah, he's just gone to a weekly play group that he goes to, so I've I can film these bits without him. Um, this is some of the stuff that I've bought. I bought these Ben and Holly figures because, well, actually I bought two packs, because they are buy one get one free currently at the Entertainer, which they were £5 each, but I paid £5 for the pair. Oh, my headband is sliding. So I paid £5 for the pair of these. Um, on Saturday, which was my mum's birthday, Saturday the 1st of April, my uncle came down and we went to the charity shops in the centre that I live in and um, we found a Ben and Holly playset that was um, £4 and it came with quite a few of the figures that I just bought him. So he'd got both Gaston and Ben, Elf, in this playset so I was like right okay I'm going to have to take that back and exchange it. I haven't managed to do that yet but I've still got time before his birthday so he's already got these two so that now needs an exchange. Um, I'm pretty sure he's already got this Holly figure, but he hasn't got, I don't know, I don't really watch it. I think this one's Poppy, and the little one with the orange hair is Strawberry, um, but he hasn't got this one, I know that for sure, so I'll keep this pack, and then he'll just have a spare Holly. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd record these while he's gone. Um, another thing I got from the entertainer as well were these pops of Play-Doh. He goes through Play-Doh like there's no tomorrow. Um, these are either for the Easter egg hunt that we're doing for uh, for Christmas, for Easter. Um, this was four pounds for four tubs, but the entertainer also had an offer which was two for five pounds. But I haven't got the other one out because it's basically the same thing. So you can get eight pots of Play-Doh for five pounds, which is really good. Um, another thing we tried, which I haven't got to show you. In fact, I'll go get it. Which is hidden in my Harry Potter bag at the moment. I get lots of compliments when I take this out. I got it from Hot Topic last summer, but I don't use it that often because it's like, not beige, but it's a light coloured bag. I'm not quite sure on the colour. It'll come to me later. But yeah, it's just got the letter and then on the actual clasp on the bag is the um, stamp, which is really cool. And that just magnets on there. But, um, yeah, I get so many compliments when I take this out. We thought we'd try Nick Jr. dough, which is made by Addo. Um, you can get four pots for £2. And a, cus I, a, a customer was saying to me, she was like, I buy this over Play-Doh now because it's just better. It lasts longer because Alfie goes through Play-Doh like no tomorrow so I thought I'd try this so we got four pots for two pounds you get yellow, red, white and blue so I thought we'd try it um, because he goes through it like there's no tomorrow it was recommended to me by a customer so uh, yeah we shall give that a go this next clip has absolutely nothing to do with Easter um, I was going to vlog earlier in the week and then I realised you've got an Easter video to do so there's no point in doing a vlog. So I'd started filming stuff for the vlog and um, by the time I realised it was like, oh nuts, but this clip happened and it's so funny. You might not think so, but I think it's pretty funny. Um, so I'm just going to include it because I thought it was funny. So yeah. So I'm working the late shift tonight um, doing... Uh, one o'clock till nine o'clock because it's half term and it's my week to close anyway. So making my dinner now, it's like half past eleven in the morning. So I've got the chicken, the bacon, the onions and everything all in there. There's two pans because one's going to be gluten free, one's going to be regular pasta. I'm also watching a film to Hello. keep me company. <laughs> Dobby, you timed that perfectly. Yeah, so this will be the gluten free pasta, the fuseli. And then I don't even want to begin to pronounce this one. Conchie, no idea. So the shell pasta. 
Well, we are ours. And grated the cheese early. So I'm, I'm on a roll. I'm excited to come home at like 10 o'clock and eat this. I'd just like to say happy Easter, guys, because it is now Easter Sunday. Um, apologies for the appearance. I've got a bed head. And um, I can't film this in my usual location because everybody's still asleep and in bed. Um, but yeah, so I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great day. You know, Disney on ice today, which is so exciting. Can't wait for that later. I'm going to try and not buy merchandise, but no promises. So yeah, guys, have a great Easter. Thank you for watching.